Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to add the plugin, third party plugin that are available in the market, something like in the NPM packages. How to add that uh, plugin package? Let's try to see in this video. Now, if you go to the NPM, so for example, this is the NPM package file. And if you search for in ESLint hyphen plugin hyphen, if you search like this, you are able to see 3596 packages are available that are plugins. As we already discussed that plugins are nothing but it consists of custom rules. Okay. So it consists of custom rules so that whatever the rule that is required for us, we will be using. Now let's go, we react, just these all the things we will be not using. Let's try to use this promise. Promise means so when we are trying to use promises in our project, so the rules that should be followed, so we can use this promise thing. ESLint hyphen plugin hyphen promise. Let's try to create a new project. So this is the ESLint hyphen plugin. This is the empty project. What I will try to do is I am going to ESLint plugin. I am initializing the project here using npm space in it. Let's try to create the project. Okay. So it is initializing the project. Okay. It is asking the version name and these are all the things it will ask me. They just press enter. Okay. We have pressed the enter. npm package has been installed. Now what I will try to do, I will try to initialize the eslint hyphen hyphen in it. Okay. I am initializing the linting. Let's initialize the linting here. It will ask you some series of questions. Okay. Now here it is asking that, okay, to check syntax and find something it is asking. Okay. Check syntax and none of these I am using. So framework is also, I am using nothing. So TypeScript I am not using. I am, it is intended for the browser. Okay. Answer questions about my style. So I am using the JSON spaces, single quotes. So Unix type, semicolons. Yes, it is required. So ESLint is in, it is installing the ESLint latest for in our project. And also it will it will create the file that is nothing but configuration file eslint dot eslint rc dot json file it will create so now let it create the it is trying to install okay if you go here you will have these all node modules we are able to see the node modules and also eslint rc json file it will create let it create successfully it has been created so now now if you go here you will be able to see eslint rc.json file. Here we are able to see some of the predefined rules that has been introduced when we did the eslint init. Okay, fine. Let's keep it like this. So simple. Now what I will try to do here, I will create a JS folder. Okay. In this JS folder, we will be having main.js file. Oh, where is this JS? Okay. Here I am using main.js file. Okay. Let create the main.js file. Okay it is creating so by that then what i will try to do i will go to the package.json and here i will i will uh, initialize the script that is nothing but oh where it gone yeah lint and the command for this to execute is eslint js okay it's simple so what are the rules in which in which in which folder i want to apply this eslint rules it is doing now let's go to the main.js file here let's create a promise okay let's get books okay is equal to new promise i am creating a new promise and this one will be having uh, resolve and reject okay for the timing resolve and reject and i will do what i will try to do is so resolve of so books got okay i have i have created a new something promise okay now what i will try to do get books dot then okay so get books dot then and uh, here you will be getting the data and for that data what i will try to do console dot log okay so i will do the console dot log data that's it now here we have did the console dot log data okay so for this one okay fine now we have added everything let's try to run the Yes, uh, let's try to run the command. Okay, if I am trying to run the command, what it will happen? Why it is taking this much of time? Okay. Now let's try to run the ES command. npm run lint. I am doing npm run lint. Let it run. And now we are able to see some errors in the main.js. Rejects is defined but never used. Okay, fine. So let's try to, we are not using the rejects, reject, right? So let's try to remove this reject. Okay. So I have did one error strings must be in the single quote and also missing semicolon missing semicolon okay what we'll try to do is we will try to do npm run lint hyphen fix okay we don't have the lint hyphen fix right 
now what we'll do is in the package.json now here i will take and i will do hyphen hyphen fix and i will do lint hyphen fix okay so this is the command that i will be running so now let go here and lint hyphen fix let's try to fix these errors automatically <coughs> So everything is done so uh, uh, everything is fixed now what i want to do is here i want to use the eslint plugin promise right so let's try to install the promise so here i will be in npm eslint is installed so this is the plugin i want to install let's copy this one and paste it here and install that plugin promise okay so what are the promise it has they are there so what are the custom rules it has been there so in the in the eslint rc.json file you need to use plugins promise okay so this is the thing we need to add it and here are these are all the custom rules that are present in that plugin so whatever the plug whatever the rule you want you can use it so for the timing what we'll try to do is we'll try to use this catch or return that means whenever you are using the promise must and should you need to implement the catch but here what we have did we have implemented dot then we didn't implemented the catch so we need to make it mandatory that so whoever are using the promise so must and should they need to implement the catch thing so now let's try to add this one whether this es yeah it has been installed now what i need to do i need to go to the eslint rc.json file and here i need to add something like yeah oh, sorry yeah some wherever you want you can add it so plugins i am adding the plugins and here i need to add uh, what is the thing that they have told es promise okay this is the name i need to apply okay i have added the promise and i want to use the rules what is the rules i need to use oh where is that rule catch or yeah catch or return so this is the promise i need to use okay fine let's copy this one and i have pasted it here okay promise by so plugin name and the custom rule for that one i need to show the error let's try to run the eslint again so i am trying to run the eslint npm run lint let's see what will happen if i am running npm run lint now here we got an error that expected catch or return in the promise catch or return yeah so we are expecting that we have implemented a promise and we are using that promise but we didn't implement the catch let's try to implement the catch here dot, dot catch of error okay i can use something like this and i can do something like console dot log error so now i am implementing the catch also for every promise now if i try to implement this okay and i try to implement es npm run lint let's see what will happen when i am trying to implement the lint so now we should not get any errors why because we have made we have implemented the catch also for the promise now we should not get any errors it is running the lint and now so what will happen here hopefully no errors yeah we didn't get any errors that means we have successfully implemented the catch thing so this is how we will be using the plugins third party plugins that are available in the internet the packages npm packages what are the things are available this is how we will be inserting into our project so now we have successfully implemented the promise introduced the promise plugin and we are making use of one custom rule which is present in the plugins okay if you want to use another 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 custom rules means so these are all the custom rules that are available in this plugin so you can use whatever the rules you want you can implement so i have implemented just a one sample thing promise like this okay hope you understood about how to use the plugins so the available already available plugins in the npm packages already how to uh, available one how to use you have seen here so in the next video you'll see about the configuration also hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also please do follow my Facebook page also. The Facebook page is given below the description. Thank you.